Hello, my Luna love. A little smudging for you to purify and cleanse your own sacred space. This is so relaxing. I just love using plants and natural elements in magic, incorporating fire and earth and water and air, all just by smudging. I want to talk today about my smudge fan. Let's see. It is not the prettiest smudge fan you'll ever see by a long shot, but I didn't buy it from an online vendor or a metaphysical store. I don't get those big fancy feathers with all the embellishments. I made this one. That's not why it's special though. It's special because it's connected to my father who passed away when I was 11. Before I was barely a year old, he really started getting into hunting and this, these feathers came from the very first turkey that he killed. He had a wooden plaque with all the feathers and a big fan around it and a little brass inscription that had his name and the place and the date. This was 1993. So this turkey has been dead for almost 25 years. I thank the turkey for giving its life every time I use this, but I also feel a connection with my father every time I use this. And one of the most magical feelings that I get when I'm doing any ritual is connecting with the ancestors. And my father is a gateway to that. Using the smudge fan to purify my space is a gateway to welcoming the ancestors into my ritual, starting with my father. He would not probably approve of what I do now, but he's still a part of it. And I think now that he is in the spirit world and he's been reabsorbed into the universal consciousness, into the great soul, the source, he'd understand now more better and more than he would have as a human. He wasn't into any kind of spiritual thing. He was very into entertainment, and I am too. I am very into my entertainment, but he didn't do any of the spiritual stuff. So I, I don't really know what he would say to me now, knowing where I am. But I feel closer to him now than I ever did when he was alive, just because he is the father incarnation, you know, of God, so to speak. He is, he's there with me and I feel it and I love it. So when I opened the plaque up after I got it from my mother who didn't want it anymore, she had it in the attic for de like oh, decades, um, it was all, a lot of the bottom part of the feather was like white dust, it had just crumbled. But there was enough there for me to cut it out and pick some of the best feathers and wrap it with the only yarn we had in the house, courtesy of my husband's home ec class in high school. And then I chose purple embroidery floss out of everything that I had because of crown chakra and how purple represents royalty and ascension and the higher self, which is something I strive to connect with. And then the shell in the middle of the string because it had a hole in it naturally and because the water element is the least developed in me. I have a very hard time expressing my emotions and letting people in. And that's to remind me to open myself up to feelings and to love. No one in my real life understands this part of me. I'm not ready to open myself up to all the Christians that are in my life that would try to dissuade me. So that's what this is for. Whether you all love me or hate me, it's okay because I'm opening myself up to this culture and I'm happy about it no matter what happens. So that's my smudge fan story. If you have any stories of handmade or inherited tools or crystals, anything that's in your magic that you've has a connection between you and an ancestor or family member or another person or an animal you helped, 
um, a, a situation maybe that you remember fondly, just let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Good journey, love.